This is the plaintiff, Lori Tomorrow. She says she rented a defective apartment from the defendant and was forced to move out because she wouldn't comply with the disgusting health hazard. That's right. The defendant actually told her she couldn't flush used toilet paper and wanted her to throw it in the garbage can. That's unsanitary. The woman was too cheap to get the plumbing fixed. Now she's here suing for every penny of the $4,476.90 she says she's now owed. This is the defendant, Ali Mercado. She says the plaintiff was pot smoking, cigarette smoking, a nuisance who polluted the whole building and she refused to stop. The plaintiff tried to blackmail her by demanding $15,000 from her to move out. She had to have her evicted and if anyone's owed money today, it's not the scamming plaintiff. She's accused of flushing out a tenant. The defendant has filed a countersuit for $5,000 for unpaid rent. All parties, please use your right hand. Welcome back to the People's Court. Next case on the dog of the plaintiff rented from the defendant and says the defendant told her that she couldn't flush anything down the toilet and she should just throw the toilet paper in the garbage. But the defendant said the plaintiff was a pot smoking nuisance. It's the case of please don't squeeze do the charm. Thank you, Douglas. You're welcome, ma'am. Okay, Lori Tamaro? Yes, good morning. <clears throat> you yes. lived in Ms. Mercado's basement for how long? I lived there for a period of six months. Okay, so let's back up. When you were first moving in mm -hmm. there, you expected to have a one-year lease, yes. correct? Yes. But you gave the money and you moved in before actually having a lease. Yes, she told me that it, that <clears throat> I would have the, the lease within the next week. Um, I never received the year lease. Yeah, she, well, but by operation of law, then, if you don't have something in writing, then what you have is a month-to-month. -month. Mm -hmm. And why? Because the original agreement, Ms. Mercado, had been a year. So what had made you change your mind and decide that you wanted to present her with a month-to-month? -month? She, uh, there was a lot of uh, uh, wrongdoing on her part. Well, I, I, I had rented her apartment with, uh, with, with the option that she was not to have pets or smoke, and that she was responsible for the the sump pump that had to be cleansed if she clogged it. She Tell gave me about the smoking. Okay, the smoking, it was bad. It was really bad. And I, I called her attention on it. Smoking she, what? She was smoking regular cigarette and she was smoking marijuana. How and did that, you know? Because those smells come up. Come up. How do you know what it smells like? Yes, it's amazing. <laughs> <laughs> it's amazing, but it comes, it comes oh, up. Who is that, your daughter? My daughter, yeah, yes. Okay. Yes. So, so it comes upstairs. So it got to the point that I kept going to her and she would not resolve the problem. I said, this is impossible. I'm not going to be able to give her a, a year lease with this condition. Okay, so you decided you're going to give her a month to it. month. And what was her response when you when you? She did not agree and okay. she did not accept the month to month. All right. So yes. then you gave her a 30-day notice. Then I gave her on, the, on August 29th. I decided that was over, so I okay. did. Okay, so now what ends up happening? The case ends up going to court, to landlord-tenant yes. court. And what happened? On September, when September 17th rent was due, did you pay it? I asked her on the 19th to present me a certificate of occupancy, which is required to collect rent oh, in okay. New York. So we have this pesky little problem okay. called a certificate of occupancy, which you do not have. Which, uh, no, because it's a basement. It's an no, you do not. Th there's no basement exception to okay. the certificate of occupancy rule. Right. It's a basement for you. You right. guys get to use it. Right. But if you rent it out, you have to have a certificate of occupancy, right? Yes, which I didn't have. Right, okay. So let's all be really clear, it's an illegal apartment in that sense. Yes. Okay? So now you get wind that it's an illegal apartment because she doesn't provide the CO, you stop paying rent. This is after But I you don't leave, do you? No. Even though the place, according to you, is dangerous. There's bars yes. on the windows. If there was a fire, you couldn't... Well, I you stay, because the rent now is perfect, it's zero. So you don't pay September, you don't pay October, mm -hmm. so that's two months, and then the case goes to court, because by then you filed the eviction. And what happens in court? What does the judge tell you? So, the defendant rented an illegal apartment, but the plaintiff's been staying there and not paying any rent. Does the landlord have any recourse? Um, I'm gonna go with no, I mean, if you didn't sign a legal lease agreement because it's illegal, I don't know if I owe you anything. Well, that's true, but the yeah. landlord, but the tenant's living there. You know what I mean? It's like, doesn't it seem a little unfair? 
I mean, it does seem unfair, but if it's uninhabitable and there's nothing really legal, then they don't really have any recourse. What, you have a problem throwing used toilet paper in a garbage can? Seriously? That's just horrible. <laughs> <laughs> Going inside the courtroom. The judge ordered um, no monetary uh, rent back due right. to her because, because it's an illegal apartment. Illegal. And you don't get to use the, it's like you sold her a bale of marijuana and she only paid you part of it. You can't come to me and say, judge, make her pay the rest of, you know, we had a deal. That's not how it works. You're not allowed to rent it out, so you can't ask the courts to help you get rent. Go ahead. And then he gave me 60 days. Why? Um, Why another 60 days? To find a place to live. Because well, that we was nice. And did you problem. find a place to live in the 60 no, days? No, I did not. This how was come? right before Christmas. So, no, I no, it was October. We, we, it was no, exactly not I, right, but that's the definition of well, 60 days. We you didn't out. do anything until it was no, right before Christmas. No, right? we had to be out right before Christmas. We had looked at multiple, multiple apartments. Okay. It just didn't... We Nothing you liked. a problem finding one. Okay, so now it's December 17th. Did you call the marshals to go I ahead had, and do their job? The minute that they, she did not move on, the, on December 15th, I had to hire the sheriff. And sheriff what did the sheriff do? $200, and, and the sheriff gave her 78 hours. 72 hours to move out. She did not move out. The she sheriff not... tell you on the 15th you have 72 hours or yeah, are we dragging you out papers. by the hair? I really mean it this time? On, or on no? the put the papers no. on her door. Not on the 15th. Okay. They put a paper on the door? Yes. After... When, when did they put December a paper on? December 28th, I believe. 28th, yeah, a few That's when they slap Christmas. a paper on. So why don't they do it on the 17th? Because it's Christmas! <laughs> it's Christmas! Who knew Christmas will come again? <laughs> you know, while 60 days <laughs> right. pass. So it's Christmas, and on the 28th, they slap the thing saying, we're gonna drag you out by the hair. We really mean it this time, really, really. We and do packed. you leave? Oh, you were all packed, but you didn't leave. No. Why not? I could I not find go. an apartment. It, uh, we when looked and looked. When did you finally leave this horrible, when unsafe the sheriff place? Came and, and, and what? We... And then actually had their hand on your hair to pull you no, out. No, actually, they were very nice. No. <laughs> I mean, the marshals are there, and they're like, that's it. The, the, no, it's over. Yes. That's when you find, and so how did you leave? Did you take all your stuff? You had all your stuff packed. Did you take it? They, yeah, we took it. They, yes. You they took said, everything? No, they said what we could fit in our cars we were allowed to take. You didn't even have a $20 U-Haul van for the event? No. I understand you didn't find an apartment, but you know you can't leave your stuff there. I had called the sheriff's department, and because it was um, New Year's Eve, New Year's Day, he had I'm said... I'm sorry. It's not. It's <laughs> now no. January what? Fourth. Fourth. Yep. Yes, okay. but he had yeah, the parties said are that over. It, it would start <laughs> from a certain date. I don't understand. It so is I now January 4th. Day. A judge told you to get out by December 15th. You've had the ghost of Christmas present bestow a gift on you of a, almost another whole month. How do you not have a U-Haul to put your stuff in and get it out of there? I was under the impression due to the conversation that I had with the sheriff's office that they would come the next day. But you did go out on the 4th and you paid $426.90 for a hotel, and you want her to pay for it. Yes, absolutely on what, not. Can you stop? I'm sorry. On what legal theory would the landlord be liable to pay for your hotel? Okay, if she never rented me an illegal apartment to begin with, which I put a lot of money into between moving, security, paying rent, furnishing the whole apartment to the apartment under the, under the agreement that I was staying there long term, I wouldn't You don't have an agreement you're staying that there long term. You moved in and gave money without well, having a she, lease. She outright blatantly lied to me. Okay. She's got to pay $800 of legal fees because what? You didn't win. Why would she be responsible for lawyer's fees? Because once again, the apartment was illegal. Why don't you just leave like everybody else does? You just didn't find anything that was I just of your liking. No, well, I would have it, taken anything at that time. Would you have? Because yes, I would Your have. Honor, actually, it, as long as it was Long legal. Island, where we live, it's really expensive for an apartment. She told me she was loaded when she moved in. She so, was loaded. I, I would have. If someone came to me and said I'm loaded, that's the person I'm not going to rent to, because <laughs> someone who's loaded doesn't need to say that. That's red flag number one. I Let's never start made with that, that statement. I don't <laughs> care. Oh, now you're all, stop. Everybody stop. Okay, a thousand dollars for movers. Mm -hmm. What movers? I had somebody move me in to the apartment from my old apartment. Okay. And somebody moved my stuff from storage to my new house. What storage? 
I had to pay $1,700 get out. for her to get out, to pack things for the people that came because, to help wait, her pack. Because, wait, are you saying okay. after she moved out, the no, stuff she the left? No, the same day, the day of. The oh, fourth. the day of. The day so of. the sheriffs come only if there's movers also? Yeah, they came with eight movers. Okay. The sheriffs come with the movers. Yes. So you don't pick the movers. No. You actually have to store everything. Yes. Now they told me that that I had to pay thirty days storage for her, and that I had to pay the movers. I had to pay the trucks. So you paid. And the I had to pay the packers. Okay. <laughs> so that was seventeen hundred dollars that I had to pull out of my. But you credit also card. want her to pay to move the stuff from the nice storage facility she put it in when you weren't ready to your new apartment. Okay. This whole thing started over that. toilet issues that yes. I haven't heard anything about. What yes. were the toilet issues? It, it, it actually started. Far be it from me to, to <laughs> pass up a good toilet story. It, it actually, what was a toilet problem? There's a problem with the sun pump, apparently. Um, somebody arrived. I don't think it was a licensed plumber. She demanded me to pay $150. First, she didn't present me an invoice. She didn't present me a bill. Nothing. When I refused to pay it, that's when I was served with the month to month on 823. Oh, that's a risky run if you and don't have a lease. She also right. told me I mean, not to use toilet paper. Do not flush toilet paper in the toilet bowl. Okay, that's just Which disgusting. was yeah. disgusting. No, I know, I know exactly what, what mm -hmm. yeah, I've traveled. I, yeah. I get it. <laughs> <laughs> true or not true that you told her don't put toilet paper in the toilet? Not true. Okay. There are our toilet papers that clock the sump pump. Okay, so she needed to US, use a, 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 a biodegradable. A, a, yes, cut. yes, that was right. number one. Yeah. Two, the pump was cleaned before she came. She lasted two and a half months clogging up the thing, whatever they put, cortex or whatever, or cigarette, whatever they put in there, the pump got clogged. Okay, I'm, I'm hearing about things I really don't care about because yeah. at the end of the day, you didn't evict her because she violated anything. No. You just gave her her 30 days notice, which is all she's entitled to. Yes. Mm -hmm. And you're not entitled to more than that because you gave a deposit and moved into a place without having a lease beforehand. Yes. So there's no, oh, but she promised me one. No, if you move in, that's the conditions under which you move in. They remain a month to month, that's it. So now, you can't keep a security deposit for rent. You've got a counterclaim for rent. You don't get rent. I don't know how many times people have to tell you this. You don't get to collect the rent on an illegal apartment, okay? So normally, I would say, you're gonna need to return the security deposit. But what do I do? She can keep the security deposit for other damages, just not rent. So she wants to keep it because she ended up having to expend virtually that, if not more, between hiring a lawyer and getting you out of the illegal apartment you refuse to vacate from. Well, as a landlord, that's her responsibility and her choice to do so. So what should she have done? Set your stuff on fire? She had the option, I'm sure. She, she had the have. option to set your stuff on fire. Uh, the only thing that you have sued for, which I would even remotely consider, is a security deposit. But that was eaten up by having to hire marshals to get to enforce a court order you ignored. You think that's gonna go by with no consequence? No. I am not gonna order her to return the 1800 because she has spent infinitely more than that trying to get you out and get you to abide by the court order. So my verdict in this case is for the defendant. So, no winners in this case, Ms. Tamaro. Didn't go too well for you in no. here today, did it? No, it did not. I mean, you sound like the tenant no one wants, you know? <laughs> Actually, I'm a very good tenant. Doesn't I've sound always like been it. one. <laughs> I mean, how could you, how, they order you out and you stay there for month I after could, month I after month. I could not find an apartment. I beg out. pardon? I could not find yeah, an apartment. Yeah, I know, but you can't stay there either. Mm -hmm. I understand that, but it was. But you did? I was just put in a situation where I was lied to about the lease and the long term tenancy and so on. Well, <laughs> all right. I hope you uh, do better the next place you live. Okay. okay? Yes. And Thank if they you. tell you to get out, get, get out. out. I'm in a legal place now. A, yeah. Okay, good <laughs> enough. Legal, all right. Yes. Good enough. Thank you very much. Ms. Mercado, didn't work out too well for you either, did you? You can't collect money for rent that you can't charge legally. So that's your problem well, there. The most important thing is that I got rid of them. Sorry you didn't win, but uh, that's it, okay? Yeah. At least Thank they're you. out. Yeah. Finally, you. they're out. Exactly. Yes. Rejoice. Thanks, Thank you Rejoice. very much. Okay, bye-bye. Okay, bye-bye. Thank you very much. <laughs> Harvey? Okay, Doug, so basically here, the uh, defendant didn't get any money for back rent, but the defendant did get money uh, because the defendant had to hire a lawyer to get the plaintiff out, and the lawyer was covered by the contract.